Battleview Orchard strawberries. Hi guys, check this out. Strawberry season is here. We went for pick your own. We gathered so many nice strawberries and I'm gonna take you through a bunch of little recipes or ideas of what you can do with such goodness. Follow along on this journey. So first, I always, 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 besides just eating them fresh, I freeze them. What I do is I take the strawberries, I wash them, I take off the green stems, and I put them into Ziploc baggies portioned off for future use in the freezer, for smoothies, for, for other ideas, whatever you like to use frozen strawberries for, for my casseroles. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Uh, before I proceed, I just wanted to mention a few things. So this is definitely not our first year going strawberry picking. Uh, we do this every single year. And uh, if you're doing the same thing, meaning picking so, so many, to keep them from getting mashed during traveling, we take containers with us and we take a humongous cooler. So this is something that you get at the farm. We take the strawberries from this container and put them into separate containers, those that you can close. We put them in a large cooler with some cool packs and that way the strawberries can get home not mashed. Also, when washing strawberries, particularly strawberries. So this is what I have uh, from the first little container. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some baking soda. Baking soda and water. And then you're gonna see all the dirt, it floats up to the top and you have a cleaner strawberry and you're able to freeze it or make um, cakes with it or make jams with it or, or whatever you'd like to do. Okay, so before freezing, there must be some immediate eating such as this to work, to school, for snack. So I make little cups uh, for the first probably two days or so. Okay, number two. So I try to pick out the best, best strawberries that I have and keep them in a container, not washed, not, not detaching the stems because they store for longer this way. So after we're finished eating the strawberries that are already washed and cut up, these would be the next to be eaten fresh. Okay guys, so this is how I do my freezing. I put them into little baggies, portions for either smoothies or compotes, and I freeze them, I guess, in the same container that I was given at strawberry picking. So this is what I'm doing right now. Okay guys, one more idea, and this one I am calling the taste of childhood. So my kids here do not know what it is like to have strawberries with sugar. Uh, when I was growing up, I don't think I knew what it's like to have strawberries without sugar. We'll still keep it on the somewhat healthier side. We are going to be using monk fruit sweetener. We are going to take these strawberries and we're going to put sugar over them and put this bottle into the fridge. And the strawberries will release its juices mixed with sugar. And they're going to taste delicious and syrupy. And I'll show you how it looks like when I take them out before. Okay, next up we have strawberry compote. Boil up some water, put a few strawberries inside. Or when you have so many, you could put so many strawberries inside. Then without added white sugar, put in some agave. Still gonna keep on adding strawberries, some agave syrup. You will have a compote in no time. This will be absolutely delicious. Once it's cooled, you can further add some ice and have a nice refreshing drink on these warm summer days or do what I like to do. I like to have my compote warm, just like tea. That tastes delicious as well. Okay, how about strawberry jam or strawberry preserves? No sugar for this one either, just agave. Pour it over the top. Okay, let it warm up. You will see it bubbling pretty much right away. Give it some time. 
Okay, heat off for this one. And turning the heat off for this one as well. Now, for the jam, uh, we have two options. So what I usually do is I leave it this way. I like it runny, I like it syrupy. That's the way I've been making it and eating it like this. Just put pouring it over, like a syrup, over pancakes or, or anything like that. But there's another option. We can let it cool and then blend it. And uh, then it's gonna become more thick. It could also be further cooked down to make it even thicker. So I think we may even have enough for both options. So let's see. Here we go. These are my two bottles of compote. This is our syrupy jam. Now we are gonna blend the other half and see what we get. Okay, here we go. Let's blend. Okay, let's see. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the heat for a little bit more because it says to cook down but I think it's already lovely. Mmm, it's bubbling. Okay, just a few more minutes. We're gonna transfer it to a bottle. Wow, this actually tastes amazing. Recommended. Now remember this guy, the one we put sugar over, look at the syrup that it produced. Okay, for the grand finale, we have to make a strawberry cake. And since I'm tired, we're only gonna use three ingredients. One cup of sugar, monk fruit sweetener, one cup of flour, and three eggs. Okay, let's do this. Let's whisk three eggs with sugar first and add in our flour. It says in the recipe to whisk until the batter is double in size. So we're gonna whisk, whisk, whisk. Okay, so into our egg and sugar mix, gently put in the flour, fold it in with a spoon, mix everything together. And then we are gonna be adding strawberries. Okay, so I greased up my pan. I sliced up the strawberries and now I'm gonna pour the batter over them. Just like that, evenly. And then I'm gonna put more strawberries on the very top. Okay, even it out just like that, and then we're putting our strawberries on top. Okay, this is how we look. We're going into the oven. Okay, 350 degrees for 40 minutes. Wow, take a look at this cake, you guys. And take a look at those strawberries underneath. Delish. We are going to take it out and grab a slice. Okay, here we go. I sliced it through. Let's try to create a nice restaurant type presentation. So first we're gonna go into the jam that's blended and create a nice line right over here. Then we are gonna take some of this syrup and drizzle over the top. Then we are gonna take a few of our sugary strawberries and put that on the side. And finally, we're gonna complete our meal with a nice glass of strawberry compote. Ladies and gentlemen, it is strawberry day.